My name is Phil Cowan. I think I'd describe myself as a psychiatrist and psychopharmacologist. So that means that uh, I try and help patients who have various mental health problems, focusing particularly on the use of psychotropic medicines to try and help them with their difficulties. What interests me most in psychopharmacology, I think, is the ability to try and help patients with appropriate medicines. But first you have to understand the patient, so that's particularly interesting because there's a, there's a narrative with which you have to engage, which is, why has this problem happened to this person at this particular time? And then some of the medicines we have can be very helpful and can really transform things for patients, but you have to use them with skill and with care. And so it offers an opportunity to understand someone to become a partner with them, but also to help them using your particular skill and experience, and that's enormously gratifying. I think it's the interest, there's always a challenge, there's always something new. It's intensely collaborative, so you have the great fun of working with um, uh, very intelligent and talented people. Um, and also in our research, which is more applied, the prospect of really make, making life better for people. So what are the major challenges facing us? Um, I suppose it's how to apply the great advances in neuroscience to improve treatment for patients. Advances in basic neuroscience are very profound, extremely interesting, knowledge of how the brain works. But it's been very hard to apply this knowledge to improve life and mental health patients. Um, I think it's also part of a broader discussion about what's the best way to actually approach mental health problems. Um, and I think the other challenge is to somehow keep integrated a neuroscience approach with a more humanist approach that always understands the patient as a person with their own, own, own experience and their own life narrative. So what would be an example of a challenge? I suppose in my own field, the treatment of depression is, is an example because fortunately we do have some useful medicines for depression, but originally they were discovered by chance and they'd be modified, but we don't really have medicines that are based on a deep understanding of pathophysiology. And so the challenge to have something really new and different is very real. Um, at the same time, when we try and understand the basis of depression, we see how complex it is. Of course, there, there are neurochemical changes, but people's life experiences are so important. Things like the childhood they had, the things that happened to them as, as they grew, grew up. And so trying to understand how best to view that, where the neurobiology meets with the existential experience, is, is really, really a great challenge. I would recommend a junior doctor to come a psychiatrist because it is so interesting and you're able to combine a scientific medical approach with an opportunity, um, uh, with a privilege, to hear people's life stories in a detail which you don't normally do in medicine. And it's this fusion of the third person and first person perspectives that's so fascinating. I think what makes Oxford special is, is the availability of world-class colleagues. That there's an atmosphere of excitement, great basic discovery, there's a wonderful medical school, and the chance to really hear things on a day-to-day -day basis which would take you months to discover otherwise. So it is really like everyone almost working un under the same roof and gives an enormous sense of um, collaboration and opportunities to push things forward.